Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Shadi Reis from Sky 2023. We are at Phoenix at uh, the uh, Convention Center. I'm really privileged to be today with, me, uh, with Dr. Tamir Paul and Dr. Uh, Debrata uh, Mukherjee, who are together, put together an application related to focus on chest pain pathways. So I'll start with uh, Tamir. So tell us about the, pa the app and what is the idea behind the app? Yeah, after the first uh, uh, guideline, chest pain guidelines is the first guideline that published uh, um, and we, we thought about that we should have an app that easy to, because guidelines uh, always little complex details, so if we develop an app so that will help to um, all the physicians in the ER and other to quickly make the decision, so that was the reason behind it. So, so this is based on, Dr. this is uh, based on uh, the most recent guidelines from 2021 about chest pain pathways? Right, so there has never been a chest pain guideline before. So this was the very first chest pain guideline. I was privileged to be one of the co-chairs of this guideline along with Martha Gulati and Phil Levy and really an excellent writing committee. And what we tried to address in the guideline was that chest pain is one of the most common presentation in the emergency department after trauma or non-traumatic injury. And there's a wide spectrum and people may present with low risk chest pain, intermediate or high risk. Most of the individuals presenting with chest pain are actually low risk. And one of the key messages of this application, and Dr. Paul distilled it very well, the guidelines are complex. We try to distill it. We want to distill it into simple messages. So the messages were low risk patients don't need to be no need to keep them in the hospital. They do not need urgent testing. Let them go home. Let them follow up with PCP or cardiologist. Mm -hmm. Intermediate risk patients are the ones who need testing. And it start with ECG and troponin and uh, obviously imaging. And the high risk patients really need to go to the cat lab. Right. They uh, typically have ACS. And our goal is to how to help the clinicians identify who are low risk, the largest group of patients, versus intermediate risk, significant, not as big as the low risk, and then the high risk patients are really small, but it's critical we identify them so that we do not miss an MI. So uh, how about compare this to ER now familiar with Timmy score, Grace score, is this something different now or something new? So again, let me clarify the Timmy score, Grace score, they're all developed for ACS, that means they risk stratified patients with acute coronary syndrome. The score that we use for risk stratifying before is that. right before, because ACS patients, again, you can use Timmy and Grace to identify when they need to go to the cath lab. Most patients do need to go to the cath lab, is a heart score. And you start with history and physical, like any medical condition, and try to assess the likelihood that this chest pain is ischemic in origin or one of the big life threatening. So somebody comes to the emergency department with acute chest pain, what are we trying to do? We're trying to identify life threatening condition. Most common is ACS, myocardial ischemia, but there are other biggies. Acute coronary, acute aortic syndrome acute large pulmonary embolism. There are non-cardiovascular like tension pneumothorax right. that we want to identify and this particular guideline and what Dr. Paul and I developed this app will help us identify these patients with history physical, do an ECG, right. do troponins and we incorporated the high sensitivity troponin into this application. We have values because there are mon multiple high sensitivity troponin assays with different cutoffs, their gender or sex specific cutoffs and then the delta changes. So we want to make sure when somebody comes with chest pain they can click on the Sky app that we have developed, yeah. input, right, use the algorithm, use their history physical findings, their ECG findings, their troponin findings, and their heart score. Yeah. Can they be discharged? Do they need testing? Do they need to go to the cath lab? Is this available for both iPhone and Android? Yeah, I, uh, iPhone for sure. I think that it will be in the Android too. Yes. Um, yeah. It should be available for both platforms, either on Google Play or uh, on the or Apple Store. Apple Store. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to, at the description of this video, we're going to put the links for the awesome. application for both users, Android and, but this is very helpful. I think what we need to do is to promote this to medicine, 
hospitalist as well as emergency room. No, absolutely. Coach. Now we are in a day and age where we have shortage in nurses. We want to uh, get through, put in the hospital so quickly, get the patient out. If he or she doesn't need to be in the hospital, we don't occupy the bed for unnecessary testing. And this will give them a kind of an extra level of comfort. Have you approached hospital system or administrators to kind of use this to help them with their uh, throughput and uh, patient transitions? It's not yet. We are in the developing, almost done now. We are in the running phase. So we want, uh, through this um, uh, conversation today, we want everybody to test this. Yes. It will be available through the sky. Yeah. So um, uh, if once everybody is comfortable and then uh, is working completely, uh, with this running phase, then we'll approach. We'll just it will be free for everybody, so we can every hospitals will just release that uh, and promote yeah. to use it. This is to improve patient outcomes. You mentioned an important point: health economics. There's shortage of nurses. There's shortage of inpatient hospital beds. There are you know some places shortage of physicians. And the older, if you will, the recommendations where everybody needs some kind of testing. So be able to let them go home, which is the majority of these patients with chest pain, will certainly help improve outcomes in the individuals who really need to be in the hospital or really need to go to the cath lab. And again, importantly, these low-risk patients, they go home, but they need appropriate follow-up, they need appropriate therapies, including preventive, primary prevention, secondary prevention, and Dr. Paul and I have developed another uh, uh, decision, tool. decision tool to help optimally treat these patients with secondary prevention, lipid lowering, antiplatelet therapy, other therapies that may improve outcomes. Well, thank you so much for involving that app. I think it's going to help a lot physician taking good decision and feeling good with no risk uh, entitled to that. We'll, again, we'll put a link for these two apps, the, the same app with two links for two uh, users, Apple as well as Android, in the description below. Thanks again, Dr. Paul, Dr. Mukherjee, for your hard work, and Sky for developing this. Uh, watch these videos and others on Sky TV. This is Shadri from Phoenix in Sky 2023. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.